fencing has many uses. It can be used to keep the small dogs inside and the big dogs outside. And the small children inside. Hey, maybe even the big children outside. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Builders now stocks the first Dutch brands, DIY fencing and accessories. But the best part about it is how easy it is to install. Three simple steps. Lay it out, line it up, knock it into place. Let me show you how. This installation is going to be in the garden to keep the dogs out of the flower beds. I laid out the fencing first to ensure that the gate is lined up with the staircase before I installed anything. Gate sections are narrower than the main panels. So this needs to be taken into account when planning your fencing. Once I was happy that all lined up, I started with the first section. This is a two-man job, so I asked Kev to give me a hand. Simply line up the eye loops and insert the stake through the loops and drive it into the ground with a rubber mallet. Repeat for as many sections as needed. Don't use a metal hammer or four-pound hammer. You will damage the top of the stakes. Now to install the gate. Ensure that the gate loops are above the fencing loop. Otherwise, the gate will simply slide down the stake. If you find that you have excessively hard soil, knock a length of steel bar into the ground first to open a hole before securing the stake into the ground. First Dutch brand fencing is made from 15 by 15 millimeter square tubing that has been powder coated. A powder coating protects the steel from the elements, thereby extending the lifespan quite significantly. These sections can be curved or turned to form a 90 degree corner if necessary. However, the panels are not adjustable for width. They are a fixed size. The size of these panels are 1220 millimeters wide by 910 millimeters high. This means this fencing does not meet the legal height for swimming pool fencing, which needs to be a minimum of 1200 millimeters above ground. However, for the other domestic fencing jobs, this is ideal. If you're wanting to secure the fencing to a brick wall, you will need to use wall mounting brackets. These are supplied with the mounting hardware and require eight millimeter holes to be drilled. The same applies if you want to secure to a hardened floor. Simply use the floor mount brackets and secure them to the floor. These brackets can also be attached to a timber post if necessary. What a dead simple DIY. Took me about half an hour. It's neat, it's functional, and you know what? I think this looks great. Now remember, Builder stocks the first Dutch brand's fencing and other products both in-store or online at builders.co.za. And for more videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.